When you can't find a stud, you use taco bolts. Pre true your hole. Home Depot. You know what I'm talking about. And just take these and push them in there. Okay, then you take them, push them toggle bolts inside of there. Then you just tighten them up. Sometimes you gotta pull this toggle bolt back a little bit to get grit. A little bit, you know what I'm saying? I always try to put your, when you're doing any type last mini critiquing, I always put it on the lowest setting. So that way it'll torque it. So now that shelving is torque. Take your shelf and put it on up there. That side had a stud on it though, you know? So, I already had a stud on that. So I didn't have to do that process over there. But I used a toggle bolt for that process. A ridge drill. Um, minor little stuff. Then I take these these wood screws and I secure the cabinet in with them screws right them screw holes right there once again I'm gonna do the next cat shelving the same way Always torque it in. No, saying that way I know it's in. No. That way I 
like a sleeping night for the customer's house. You know, I can go home with my wife and sleep real good. Because I know I ain't got to worry about nothing. <laughs> you know? Then I'll present this taco bowl into this one. Make a line. So what I did was I just took the screw and took the frame and just uh, made my own screw holes into their equation. You know what I'm talking about? Just real quick like that. So now all I do is take my drill and um, continue to drill them holes that I already made a screw hole with. You know, line the bracket up with the now I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that. See what I did? Made that hole for that taco boat. You play around with it and feel for it. But you gotta have enough diameter for the taco boat to go in there. You know what I'm talking about? So that taco boat gonna go in there like that. You know what I'm saying? You can allow your screws in there like that. That's another way you can do it. Or just put it on the frame with the screws. Just like that. Then I just slide. Targo boats. Slide the Targo boats. On there like this. Make sure that it be flat against the wall, you know what I'm saying? You want it flat against the wall so we could slide in the wall like that. If you put it this way, it's not gonna work. Okay? So you gotta pay attention to that. Putting it in the right way. Basically, you want to put it in there like that. You know what I'm talking about? Just slide it on there. So it'll go in on that wall. Make sure that make your brain get functional to where it remembers that that way it goes. Okay? Just like that. And just slide it on in there. Push it in. Sometimes I like it a little. I like it a little tight. You know. I don't go in there.
We want them to be extended out so when they go inside of there, it'll have room to open up, you know. You want them to have enough room so it opens up. Okay. You just want to stick it in the holes. See, there's fling right in there. You hear that, YouTube? It is fling in there. That's what you want to have enough room. If you put it too tight, it won't allow it to do that. I like it a little tight, so I know I can get it in there, you know. from there to there because like a high setting so remember I always want to click it back down because you don't want to strip that out or this drill a pull that talk about into the wall where it's um they stripped out whole process done for for you go find a new job you want to move that up to that line see I made that line previously before so you want to measure the distance from the bottom to the top and both angles so they can be congruent. <laughs> 